Here. 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 Morris. Here. Item number two is a consent agenda. The following items of a routine nature normally approved at board meetings will be approved by one vote unless any board member desires to have a separate vote on any or all these items. Consent agenda consists of discussion, consideration, and approval of all the following items. A, B, C, D, E, and F. So we approve it. Second. I'm sorry, who was the motion? Uh, Russell. Kirkpatrick? Yes. Babcock? Yes. Reed? Yes. Morris? Yes. Item three is informational reports. A is superintendent's report. Um, on the superintendent's report, OSSSBA conference is October correction date 24th, 2019. It's from about 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. It will be held at Freedom Public Schools this year instead of having to travel. Um, we do not know yet what we're having for a meal. They're working on that. It will be either held either the, probably in the cafeteria because we got to set for about 80 people. Um, Tentative basketball schedules in your packet under documents. There's one in there for elementary, junior high, and high school. Um, elementary schedule is still being worked on. There are some still added games that plan on adding to it and the Freedom Festival schedule. Also, cross country should be in there for the schedule. And that's all I've got. And I want to brag on our kids once again. Um, we had a lot of kids that entered fair projects and that did, went for the livestock um, shows and uh, judging and different things. Our fair projects are out so you guys can view them. We had two champion, 10 first place winners, eight second place winners, seven third place winners, and we had one first place move on to state, um, one of our 4-H kids. And then with the livestock awards, and some of that is also our medal work, we had six first in class, 13 second in class, four third in class, fourth, uh, no, two fourth in class, one fifth in class, three breed, one reserve breed, two grand champion, two reserve grand champions, a seventh place individual in the 4-H uh, junior livestock judging, and a junior grand showmanship winner. What is that? Grand champions. Oh, two yeah, and we had two grand champions in that as well. Um, I think that's what I meant by the two champions, it was oh, two grand champions. Yeah. So. Um, so they did really well, came out of there with a lot. I had some people tell us that uh, they really don't like it when Freedom shows up there because they do such a good job and win. So I said, that's good. That's a good compliment. So um, I was happy about that. We have parent-teacher conferences coming up on September 16th and 17th. Those are in the evenings from 4 to 7 each night. We're doing it a little different to try it. Um, and parents like it that better. That way they have a choice. If they can't come one night, they can come the other instead of all in one night. Um, which will leave us off on the 20th. Um, so that's coming up pretty quick. And then Tulsa State Fair is coming up. It starts September the 30th. And so we'll have some kids out that week for sure, and possibly some the next week, but it looks like possibly just that first week. So <coughs> we'll make sure everybody was aware of the things are coming up. Item four then. Yes. Uh, presentation ACT Community Input by Principal Michelle Sheila. This year, um, State Department was required to do something different, um, recognizing that we are taking the ACT as part of our testing requirements instead of a state CCRA. Um, it's something we've done for a couple of years now, taking the ACT is for that, but we're required to put it out there and get community feedback. We put a survey out on the Facebook and web page. Um, so people can sign on and do that. We've had seven people sign on and take it so far. I'm um, hoping that within the next few weeks we'll do some more, but it has to be brought before the board to make sure you guys are aware of that as well. So. Item five then is board discussion of possible action for contract renewal at Pioneer Long Distance for Freedom Public Schools existing service for internet access. Um, you look in your documents, it's just a housekeeping deal for the contract renewal for the internet. No change. No change, it's part of the E-rate policy. E -rate. We uh, renew contract. 
Pass it again. Wilson? Yes. Kirkpatrick? Yes. Babcock? Yes. Reed? Yes. Morris? Yes. Item 6 is board discussion of possible action on activity fund account and regulations for a science robotics club. Um, that is just to open an account and activity so we can put funds for that organization. And then there is a activity funds in their documents. There is an activity fund regulations for the account. Where's the book from that? Do what? Where's the account? We don't have a club account at all. So oh, is it closed and down and we'll get, quit doing it for a while? I or? guess so, yes. Are we done any money to get them started? No. So they don't have any money right now? Nowhere, nothing. They have money coming, getting ready to come in through other, or, through other donations, but they need an account to put the money into. So they haven't, they haven't had to do anything with no. the period? Correct. So we're talking about doing a piece of fundraiser and some other items so raising that money. is just I that is just a generic activity activity fund of how they don't raise money. They don't have to do pizza fund, that was just the example they put on there. They have done a grant and got a, some they have some grant money coming, it's minimal, but it at least pays for that first part of entries and stuff registration. And they have gotten some other people in the area to help donate money as well. Okay. And that money's it's come in? It hasn't yet, it's on its way. It's just for the robotics. Just for robotics. Okay. That's all it goes to. I propose we open the account. I'll second. Uh Shane, one second. Yes. Wilson? Yes. Kirkpatrick? Yes. Babcock? Yes. Reed? Yes. Morris? Yes. yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Item 7 then is board discussion of possible action to continue calculating school days by the hour method and maintain a minimum of 1,080 hours per school year for the 2019-20 school year. This was approved earlier this summer with 1,080 hours and 165 days. The State Department is not requiring us to put the 165 days on it. They're just requiring to say 1,080 hours. So we're just removing the 165 off it and just leaving it as 1,080 hours. Back to the robotics, when's the last time they did robotics? Two years. Um, they haven't done it since I've been here. Right, so. It's been a lot longer than two years. Miss Williams, yeah. I think it was six years ago, eight yeah. years ago. It's been six years. <clears throat> Is there a motion on item seven? Yeah, I'll make a motion when you approve that. I'll second. Scott Hager. Damn. Wilson? Yes. Kirkpatrick? Yes. Babcock? Yes. Reed? Yes. Morris? Yes. <clears throat> Item 8, Board Discussion of Possible Action to Update Board Policy, DHC, DHAC, Staff Members and Social Networking Sites. Just a board policy required by OSSBA in the state to, for teachers on what they can put on social media. It is The document is under documents in your binders if you'd like to see the policy. Be the last thing in your document set. This is just for social networking. No, it talks down here that post everything online. For the people that have internet, can they can they have a, a way to read it? They don't have an internet. What are you talking about? Uh, I thought that's for it's for the ones using it, not for 
Right. But if they're going <clears> to <throat> post notes and so forth, social network site, media means to enter an international website service. Appropriate document in the online digital world. Right. But people don't have internet access. Well, no, this is so like teachers and staff can't be friending and po emailing, Facebooking back and forth to students. No, okay, I'm, I'm going to try that now. Is there a motion? I have a motion. I second it. Wilson? Yes. Kirkpatrick? Yes. Babcock? Yes. Reed? Yes. Morris? Yes. Item 9 is board discussion of possible action on fundraisers according to Appendix B. This is not every, this is not, they're not going to do every one of these fundraisers. This is the request that they put in every year just for a list of fundraisers they would like to do. What's 50 50 basketball game? Like the tickets, you know, when you go around and sell a ticket for a dollar, you win 50% of the, whoever wins, wins 50% of the pot. Um, is that legal? Yes. <laughs> Does it have gambling? It has gambling. Sunday lunch? If they decide to have a lunch up at the school and want to play bingo, just a Sunday dinner. Those used is to happen. The school cooking it or the if it, organization did it? It would be the organization that had to set it up. Who's cooking is what he asked. It could be if they use the kitchen part, they'd have to talk to the kitchen staff. If they bring in something, they can use the cafeteria part. It could be a pot Yes, or, or it could be okay. a, do a spaghetti dinner and they want to bring in roasters or whatever, they could do that. But if the kitchen's being used, the cafeteria staff will be there. Junior class raffle? Usually they do a grill or something, a carnival or something like that. And oh, okay. Just different names. Helps them raise money for prom. And things. Mm -hmm. Helps them raise money for prom. Blue and gold sausages. <laughs> <laughs> and that one was technically already approved last month. Yeah, yeah but if they're out selling, they know they had it. I'm a <laughs> two, less than 200 feet away. Easy to sell. <laughs> Nobody counts. Okay, I have no problem with it. <laughs> I'll make the motion we approve. I got some left over from last year. I do too, but I've got one more. <laughs> somebody finally showed up, and I, or, and I bought three, and somebody else showed up, and I bought three more. So. Yes. Kirkpatrick? Yes. Babcock? Yes. Reed? Yes. Morris? Yes. Item 10 is board discussion and possible action to name David Turner as junior class sponsor. This is to replace Austin Bean that was the junior class sponsor. Mr. Turner has been going in and doing this stuff with the juniors now. It would be Mr. Turner and Ms. Smith as the junior class sponsors. That way when basketball games are going on, there, he's able to help with concessions since the coach you know will be coaching. So moved. Second. Second. Wilson? Yes. Kirkpatrick? Yes. Babcock? Yes. Reed? Yes. Morris? Yes. <coughs> Item 11 is board discussion of possible action on an extra duty contract in the amount of $250 for David Turner for junior class sponsor. It goes back to number 10. This is just the contract saying that he's going to get a small stipend for that. Back to the motion we approve. Second. Wilson? Yes. Kirkpatrick? Yes. Babcock? Yes. Reed? Yes. Morris? Yes. <clears throat> Item 12 is board discussion of <coughs> action on an extra duty contract in the amount of $1,599 for Michelle Sheely for alternative education. After sitting down with Ms. Burgess going through our programs, we made it, we had to have an alternative education teacher and Ms. Sheelight is the one that usually does the work for that, so we set her as the extra duty for the alternative education program. I approve. Second. Wilson? 
Yes. Kirkpatrick? Yes. Babcock? Yes. Reed? Yes. Morris? Yes. Item 13. Board discussion and possible action on extra duty contract in the amount of $1,500 for Austin Bean for athletic director. Mr. Bean has been the one that has went through and called all the schools for all the basketball games, cross country, making the schedules. So far, he seems to be doing a really good job at it. I feel. I don't think <clears throat> we're advised by the attorneys not to have a coach's athletic director. We're advised two years ago. To not do that, and then uh, it just works better. Yeah. Because they're the ones that have all the coaches' contacts and everything else. It's, it's actually not. Uh, it's not good to have them handle the money. Sometimes going to things they're involved in, if that makes any sense. That's why we. You, you can go back in our. We can pull it up, I guess, and look at what we have <coughs> done, why we did it. We, we had problems with that. We were advised not to do that. Okay. That's why we didn't do it. Table that one and find the research on it. Okay. <clears throat> Item 14 is board discussion of possible action on state mandated average teacher pay raise. Uh, $1,220 for full-time certified staff. After going through our finances with our financial consultant that's helping us, we decided that we should do the $1,220 full-time, for the full-time certified staff teacher pay raise. We'll make a motion. Approve it. Second. Wilson. Yes. Kirkpatrick. Yes. 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 Item 15 is board discussion of possible action on amended contracts of certified personnel according to Appendix C. It is the very last page on your agenda. It's just the teachers saying that's what their new contracted amounts would be. Yeah, it was amended to add the twelve hundred twenty dollars into it. Yes. Oh, the, the salary. If I'll make most of them free. Second. <clears throat> okay. Nothing about it. It's mandated. Wilson. Yes. Kirkpatrick. Yes. Babcock. Yes. Green. Yes. Yes. Item 16 is new business. I have none. Item 17 is board to sign any documents as needed. Thank you. 
Yeah, I make a motion that we watch 721. Yes. 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 Mr. Wilson. I said yes three times. Yes, 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 I did. Mr. Patrick Lewis. Babcock. Yes. Yes. Morris. Yes. 